bitch. I can't say shit. It's like my tongue's stuck. Like. lately I've been dealing with so much crap I was dealing with this oh lord oh, Jesus. I had to deal with this cheating ass nigga oh child not even to mention the whole breakup with Moray and then this happened Moving. Mom. It's time to go. Mom. So now we're in a new house. And eventually I'll show y'all what it looks like. But right now, child, I'd be in bed. It's a mess. Um, but I'm sitting out on the porch. I'm waiting on my girls to get here. Sissy, Krista, and um D Shantae. I'm waiting on both of them to come. Sissy's YouTube is winging it. Y'all ought to go check her out too. She is on here. It's winging it. Um, anyway, we're hanging out tonight. We got some Colorasi, some cheap wine. Just gonna sit and drink and chill a little bit because, oh, child, I need this, okay? <laughs> so, let's do it. We were talking about an asshole. He's a fucking loser. He's a liar. He's a piece of shit. Scum of the earth. He's the devil. He has his pros and cons. Oh my god, y'all. Okay, so let me tell y'all the backstory. Let me let me turn Tay Tay off because I ain't gonna get nowhere with her going. <laughs> they gonna cut all that shit out. So we're talking about the demon. I won't say his name, but I'm sure you'll hear it dropped here eventually, you know. I don't mind it being said. Fuck that nigga. I won't grace him with it. Very handsome scum. He didn't start off as scum though. Right. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't. He didn't start off as scum. Okay, let me tell the story. He let did. me let me tell it right. right. I met him when I was 17 years old. My daughter was like two. He, his daughter was like a few months, maybe a year. Anyway, we, he was married already, you know, we were friends. He's a pastor, preacher. At least that's what he told me now. I don't even know if that nigga name is what he did his name is. You know, we were friends. We would have Bible study type things. Like, I'd be outside. We lived in the same apartment complex. That's how we met. And I'd be, like, outside talking on the phone or whatever. He'd come take all the trash. And that's the first time we met. And after that, we'd just talk, you know, randomly like that. And then once I left, I was staying with my aunt. She lived in the same apartment complex that him and his wife did. I moved out and moved into my own place, which is right across the street. Uh, in an apartment complex directly across the street. Um, and I, he'd come randomly over there, you know, and do the same thing. We talked until Joe K moved in with me and he put a stop to that. Like he came one time while Joe K was there and we did the same thing we always did, you know, just sat and talked about the same shit. And, um, after that, when he left, Joe K was like, no, that nigga wants you. He can't come over here. Yada, yada, cut that out, yada. And, um, I'm like, no, no, but you know, anyway, eventually I told him it's a wrap. Okay, said no, you gotta go. You know, like period. You know how they go. Right, especially back then. Right. 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 Especially back then. Right. He ruled the roof back then. <laughs> anyway, um, we got out of contact for some years and then which was like three, four years later, I was living in Holland and I was working at Burlington. And I was leaving out of Burlington. One day I had got off. I was walking out the door and I saw him. And I was like, I hadn't seen him in so long. You know, I had looked for him in that time because we were so cool, you know. And I remember where he worked. And so I had called there looking for him, but he wasn't there anyway. I saw him when I was walking out of work at Burlington. And I doubled back. I walked out the door and I came back in. And I walked up to him and I was like, hey, is is this your name? You know, is this you? And um, he was like, yeah, you know. And I was like, I'm 
you know, I'm Angel D. He was like, of course, you know, I know who you are, yada, yada. And it was like that. I got, uh, I got, he, he got my number and he got my Facebook information and he hit me up on Facebook. Years later, me and him ain't get like, Louis? Yeah, years later. Years later. We didn't actually get into like a relationship type thing until like 2018. Oh, wow. That yeah. Was, yeah. That was recent. It was after I moved to Lake Charles because he told me <coughs> he had separated at this time. Him and his wife were separated. He was going through a divorce. And that's when we started talking, time, you know, and see me and spend the weekend with me. And, you know, we just. Yeah, we vibed, you know. I really liked it. Do you remember? I don't remember how I got in contact with... Oh, I remember how you remember. got in contact on, with her if you don't. Y'all gonna remember it because it all just ties into my YouTube channel. So right. what happened was I wrecked Sweet Lucy, my car. I wrecked the red challenge. And I was talking on and off to him at the time. And he was supposed to help me get her fixed. I was supposed to do half. He was supposed to do half. And he didn't give me his half up front when I was ready so I got mad and I gave him like two three days he still didn't do it I was like okay bet I paid the little thing online and I got the information online uh for his his wife's information I got all her information his sister his mama you know all all their addresses phone numbers emails I got all of it she had my one. best friends one of my best friends told me don't do it but go ahead whatever so I emailed all five of them hoes I sent one to each one of them yeah hey all I said was short and sweet. Hey, we need to talk. Call me. Hey, we need to talk. Call me. You know, I sent this to all of them. So she hit me back the next day when I was at work. And um, we chopped it up. You know, I told her. I told her what was going on. And she flipped it on me. She was like, nah, that's you. He's married and you're a homeworker and yada, yada, yada. I'm like, oh, bet. <laughs> so I see your 10. Right. I raise your 20. Right. So I had let it go for a while. Then I started fucking with the nigga stronger because, like, she don't care. Now you done challenged me. Correct. That's how I felt. Now you have challenged me. That's where we was, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I was still messing with him. And, uh, but he, at the same time, he was telling me that they were going through a divorce, you know. So anything she would say, he would contradict it. So, you know. Um, anyway, fast forward to now. It's the chance, nigga. Fuck this nigga. You because did. Because you didn't tell the conversation okay. with the wife. Right. When um <laughs> when when you came down here and he took you out to north uh North Shreveport out to the ponds and stuff and then you had posted on Instagram when you was in the room and then she had commented on the Instagram post and go from there. Right. Okay. Because right. that's where it gets tricky. All right. I wonder if that's Especially the with the things sound. that the <laughs> Right. Especially right. <laughs> like a <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> especially with the stuff that she was saying that he had said before about... Out for a weekend, and um, <laughs> I came up here for a weekend and hung out with him, and we went... I slept at his house that night. I woke up that morning, and I posted a video to Instagram. I was just saying, you know, good morning. You know what? I might insert that here. Are you... Uh only seven hardware store. Yeah, yeah, I do. Mind you, at the time, okay, that morning I had posted the video, and then me and him, he bought me breakfast, I took a shower, we ate in the bed. Thank you. Welcome then to we left and went to Vivian in Oil City, north of Shreveport. Away to, from his wife. To see all the, um, because I like the water, so we went to all the different lakes, Caddo Lake, Black Beach, Black Bayou, I mean... Yeah, the different lakes. Um, but when we got back to Shreveport, I'm five back to Shreveport, he got a a phone call. We went to Lil Bro's house, and I went in to. I had left something, I don't know, but I went in. And he was outside on the phone, and when I came back out, I sat in the car for a minute, and he was still on the phone, like he wasn't trying to come. So I yelled. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna get mad." So he got off the phone real quick, and he came to the car, and he's like, um, uh, "She saw your post on Instagram." She she know you in my house, so she asked me if I was with you, and I was like, of course I'm with her. You know I'm with her, whatever. Okay, so I get on Instagram. I see that she has written on my post. She she said that looks like my husband's bedroom, and so I comment back and I say it is, you know, with the little kissy <laughs> faces. Call my phone. She she been had my phone number, so she called my phone. 
and she's like he's lying to but well when she called i was ready to fight you know what i'm saying i'm like what's up where you at you know because she had i feel like she was picking from what the narrative i got from him i felt like she was picking but anyway she was like no i'm not calling on that um he's lying to both of us and he tells me that he don't fuck with you he tell me you fat and he would never touch you he tell me that um you told him that your oldest daughter belongs to him and so you found him in burlington that day and you told him that the baby was his and that you've been um hounding He's him down alive. ever since then yep I you've mean, been hounding him down ever since then question. say oh you want to be you want to be like me he told me you want to be like me that's why you in the medical field now um, just all kinds of shit y'all and i'm just like wow <laughs> bitch i can't say shit it's like my tongue stuck I'm like really <laughs> no he's my number one fan bitch are you serious <laughs> seriously though like <laughs> so anyway yeah recently back to the zoo, 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 fast forward <laughs> he helped me move the stuff into the house you know so he helped me move the stuff into the house i hadn't talked to him after that because i'm like i'm not fucking with you you know you lying and i found out now i know you're a fraud now you know like maybe i had blinders on but i saw it then like yeah it's done so when we got here um we got the u-haul we parked that bitch she sat out there for like a day before we even attempted it and then it was me and sissy and her dad and there was a lot a lot of stuff and it's a big steep hill on this house so um we were tired man but <laughs> i'm like fuck it shit call him he's hercules you know he want to be the incredible hulk and he did he came he was like had couches on his back putting the washer and shit up here like he was on after after um after that happened he texts me he's like gonna be on wednesday i'm going to divorce court and it's gonna be over yada 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 i'm like well if that's true i'm gonna message her i'm gonna message her now and see if she says the same thing he's like no wait till wednesday wait till i'm gonna do that shit tonight bruh okay <laughs> just because you said that now you got me fucked up so i messaged her you know i'm like hey you, I sent her a screenshot of us talking and I was like, are you missing something that's over here lying in my inbox, you know? And um, she was like, oh, wow. He talk about you like a dog. Because he was like, I don't, I didn't say anything about you. She told you, she told me she was lying to you because I chose you <laughs> over her. And she was like, girl, he talk about you like a dog and yada, yada. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, how can this man, you know the way he is with me. But anyway, the face of it all is just like, he was like, seriously, he's so great to me and my kids and my my family loves him bitch everybody loves <laughs> we him do, like, we do we do we do i can't him. stand that everybody loves him because he seems <laughs> like such a great guy but uh, he's so i don't trust him them the ones bitch maybe i watch okay. too much id channel i feel like he'll kill me i feel like this so we every dog got their day and here to everything I don't feel so like I don't know because I feel like the girl I feel like a wife like, This is I what I'm saying. A wife you. is he too. did his wife told me that he told her that when I was living in Lake Charles he could lure me down here under the pretense of spending time with him and he could kill me to get rid of me, you know. Like cause, <laughs> cause I kept pushing the my daughter is his daughter thing. <laughs> it's crazy. Like This is what I feel. I don't trust him, man. At some point Maybe he did say all it. You know what I'm saying? But that being <laughs> his you're wife. you're condoning that? No, no <laughs> this is what whole I'm saying. Level of I wouldn't even say all it. You know what I'm saying? You know rephrase. Let me, let me rephrase. Watches? Maybe he did say something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he did use your daughter. You get what I'm saying? Or is it no? The I daughter feel part like, and all that. And oh, she crazy. Like, she just be contacting part, me. She just be telling me, yada, yada, yada. I do feel like he used it. Okay, he probably did. But the killing part. Dear, it's no excuse that's for that. Shit. A bitch that's married gonna tell a bitch that ain't got the ring what he said and add her own shit. Well, I don't know what all we said on this YouTube channel, but she has he has told Jet the same thing about his wife before. Correct. 
Oh, and that's, that's why, why we knew that she probably mean, wasn't lying. Yeah, you probably lying. Because I said the same thing. Oh, she'll tell you anything. He did. He but always, he's, he's said I'm something like that before. Yeah. Her. I think I'm a, yeah, he says stuff all the time. Well, you know, he's, he's some creepy, creepy ass shit. Yeah. He's really fucking creepy. Creepy pasta type shit, bitch. Hey, guys. So, it's the next morning. Um, We kind of drink a lot and fell asleep <laughs> um anyway y'all see what that turned into <laughs> it has something to do with wine and your best friends being over and then it turns into a fuck that nigga party um yeah and i went back and forth about whether i would uh do this video post this because i keep my business to myself i do but fuck it fuck it it's out there now. It's up. I'm posting it. <laughs> anyway, um, and don't worry. He's done. It's done. He's a sucker duck. I don't fuck with those. Um, anyway, I am now up. It is morning time. 8 a.m. I'm clocked in. I'm on this job. So I gotta get to work. I just wanted to come in this because I realized last night we didn't. We started talking about creepy pasta and we got on a whole nother little thing. So um, love you guys. Thanks for coming. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Just watch it, okay? Just watch it. Tell your friends to watch it too, please. I appreciate it. Anyway, thanks guys. Come back next time. I'll see y'all then. Mm -hmm.